think today we're really blessed to have a few moments with Phil Lockwood, uh, the owner of Lockwood Aviation in Florida. And he's standing behind a very um, unique project. Uh, Phil, can you tell us a little bit more about this? Sure, this is an RV9. Uh, in this one we have a uh, Rotax 915. Uh, we do expect that the 916 will also uh, work in this installation. And uh, we've been test flying and prototyping this, this airplane with the 915. It seems to be a very good match because the, nine, uh, the RV9 has a higher aspect ratio wing, longer span, 28 foot, special Ronks airfoil, uh, narrower cord, and that makes it really well suited to higher altitude flying. Uh, so with the, the 915, 916, we really have 180 horse cruise type power, 135 horse, 137 horse in the case of the 916, uh, continuous cruise up to 15,000 feet, and 135 is 75% of 180. So really, uh, this engine cruises like a 180 horsepower engine, and the largest engine you would normally put in an RV9 is 160 horse, so 320. So, it really makes a good fit. This airplane is about 80 pounds lighter as it sits right now than a lightly built RV9 with a uh, 0320. Uh, we're sitting here empty at uh, 990 pounds. So That's we pretty have, amazing. Yeah, we have more useful load than a Lycoming powered RV9 um, and we're faster. <laughs> so uh, we, can, we can match the 160 horse at lower altitudes and once we get above 8,000 feet, I think we start to run away from it. And uh, flying at 11,500, 12,500, which I like to be at because I don't need oxygen, uh, but I'm still getting the benefits of some of the thinner air and it's cool and I'm over a lot of the weather. Um, this airplane will storm up to that altitude and nothing flat. And we're seeing a solid 170 knots true in uh, an eco mode, which is Lena Peak. And uh, it's very, very smooth at that power setting. I'm burning 7.3, 7.4 gallons an hour. And then if you have the ability with oxygen to go higher, it just keeps going faster and faster and faster. That's amazing. So do you want to give us a little bit of brief history? How did you get involved with this amazing project? Well, I was actually contacted by uh, Ryan Johnson at Vans and they said they had some interest in seeing how the 915 would match up to the RV9 because uh, they felt like the RV9 was never really reaching its full potential uh, with the power plants that they had available. Um, because of this special wing, it really has uh, great high altitude uh, potential. Um, so, and it's, it, it's still, you know, a sporty feel, this airplane, not as quick as the other vans, but, it, it compared to a, a normal airplane, a 172, 182, whatever, it's, it's still a lot quicker and yet stable enough to where flying it up here from Florida, I didn't feel the need for an autopilot. I mean, I could let go of the controls and it, it's hands off. Oh, that's awesome. Very stable. Um, but yeah, Ryan was interested in exploring that combination, but uh, they're busy with other projects. Of course, you know, they're working on the RV-15 uh, and, and they didn't feel like they had the, uh, the bandwidth to jump into a project like this. So they asked uh, if we would, would do it, and um, they loaned us an airframe that they had on hand, an RV9 airframe. Very nice of them. Yeah, and then, um, you know, Rotax was very interested in, and uh, the U.S. distributor, so we all got together and, and we've been trying to make it happen. Um, this is actually the second uh, design, the first design, performed really well, um, but we, we did have some uh, pitch stability issues with the shape, and we were challenged on the cooling. So this is the second design. It shares nothing with the first one. We totally redid the, the motor it mount, the okay. shape, the cooling system, and now uh, we have very good cooling, and I think pretty low cooling drag, and uh, we, can, we can run indefinitely on the ground, no issues there. Um, and we've we fixed the stability issues. So in the test flights that we've done, uh, we have good pitch stability. So all that seems good. We're going to start doing our spin testing next month, 
and uh, fingers crossed. Uh, uh, we'll, we'll keep all of our fingers crossed, yeah. definitely. If everything goes well with that, then we will uh, move forward and put it in production as a firewall forward package. So you will be able to buy a standard RV9 kit from Vans and from the firewall back, it'll just be the regular RV9. From the firewall forward, it'll be our um, our package, which will be which should include everything you need, and uh, we can accommodate either the 915 or the 916. Awesome! Thank you very very much for your time. I know you're very busy, so uh, we appreciate whatever we can get. Thank you so much. Yeah, my pleasure. It's an exciting package. Hope you have a great show, sir. All right.